All right, in this video, we're learning how to do the uh, shear diagram and the moment diagram. But before we can even do that, we need to find the reactionary forces at A and B. I don't know if you can see those. but So let's find out what forces are at A and what forces are at B. So if we do the summation of the forces, let's do the X first. That must equal zero. So the six newtons is going straight down, so it has no X component, so that's zero. B, or A, A can go this way or this way, so it provides no AX component, so AX is zero, so plus zero. B does provide some X component, BX. So if we do a little bit of rearrangement, we just see that BX, BX must equal zero. Now we'll do the same for the summation of the Y components. So they must equal zero. So we don't know what a y is, but we do know that this is 6 newtons plus b y. We don't know what b y is. So then a little bit of rearrangement, we get a negative. Actually, that's a negative because it's going down, so that's negative. So we have this negative. Oops. So that's negative. It's going straight down, so this goes over here. So that just turns into 6 newtons must equal a y plus b y. Now we need to use the summation of the moments to then find out what a and b are related to. So the summation of the moments, and we're going to do the moments around maybe this point. So summation of the moments must equal zero. So we have our six newton. We're going to call this force q. So the moment of q plus the moment of a plus the moment of B. Q is going straight down to this point. I'm going to change colors. Straight down to that point. Q is. So that's zero because there's no distance. It has no lever arm. So then that means a negative A moment must equal the moment of B. So this would actually be a negative nine meters if we're dealing, if we have this as our origin. So then the moment of A, moment of A is equal to the force of A, so AY, so AY is shooting straight up, AY, and again, BY is also shooting straight up, BY. So the moment of A must equal AY negative times a negative 9 meters, and the moment of B must equal BY times 3 meters, and we have that negative A equals a negative B moment, so we'll plug this right there, that would knock out that negative 9, so we have AY times 9 is equal to BY times 3 meters, meters. So then we just divide by, uh, let's say, 3. Divide both sides by 3 meters. 3 meters. So then we have 3AY must equal BY. So A is a third of what B is. So I guess instead we can put, that's also AY is equal to BY over 3. So now that we have these two separate equations, we can now plug that, plug, uh, let's plug, let's plug 3a, let's use this equation and plug it right there. So now we have our 6 newtons must equal a y plus 3a y, because we're plugging in b y, so we're plugging 3a y in for b y. 3ay, and that is just equal to 4ay. So now we have 6 newtons must equal 4ay, and that's 1.5 newtons. So ay is equal to 1.5 newtons. That is, yeah, because 4 times 0.5, 2, so yeah, 1.5 newtons. So we know what ay is. So ay. I guess we can write it over here. Ay is equal to 1.5 newtons. 
and if if ay plus by must equal six newtons so then we just take six newtons six newtons minus 1.5 newtons and we get by and that just turns out to be 4.5 newtons so by is equal to 4.5 newtons so <laughs> we now know what what a and by are Okay. So what does that have to do with shear, um, the uh, the shear diagram and moment diagrams? Well, to get the moment, or I guess let's do shear, shear first. If we broke this in half, broke it in half right down here, right there. And we now, we have Ay equals 1.5 newtons. I'm just going to write that down here. Ay equals 1.5 newtons. By equals 4.5 newtons. We broke that in half. So let's do the summation of the forces now on just this component. So the summation of the Y forces on this block. And we'll say this is block 1, this is 2. So we have the Y component going up which is 1.5 newtons and then there must be some one some force right here that counters that force so we have that equals zero so we have 1.5 newtons plus some other force V so then what would V be? we'll say that's V1 so then V1 must equal a negative 1.5 newtons to keep this stationary now if we treated this right here as our origins and I'm running out of time so we'll just continue on going let's find the shear now at this let's find this shear so let's do the summation of the forces of block 2 they must equal 0 so this is pushing upwards with a force of 4.5 newtons so to counter that 4.5 newtons, we must apply some force here. So we have <laughs> we have V plus V2 plus the 4.5 newtons. So then V2 must equal a negative 4.5 newtons. And I'm going to stop here. And this might be a little bit confusing, but trust me, uh, I'll explain a little bit more in the next video.